ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Great Ace Attorney 2. I'm not 2. What am I talking about? It's the first one. I'm Karamaku. And I'm Cody. Okay, so I literally have a guide. <laughs> I have a guide because we got stuck last time. Because we pressed everything and we don't know what we can really present to what. Okay, the guide says to present the crime scene photo at the new statement 3. Did we already do that? I think... These, men, these guys have given so many contradictions to everything that it's hard to, like, know what the fuck. Objection! So I think the music stopped. Yeah, the music stopped. Okay, so that was at least the right thing to do. Okay, I'm putting the guide away because, like, we just got stuck. I think we can do the rest. Yeah, we got this. So you're saying... That on the night in question, the victim, Mr. Windebank, was wielding the gun. Is that correct? I feel like we were after this last time. We probably were, but like I said, these dudes have already given us like 15 contradictions. Yeah, but I feel like the other things that we were trying to present to prove that also would have worked. No, 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 no. That's it, Gov. You've got the picture. He has, now she has, no question. What? Hang on. I was. I remember I was trying to present something, and they were like, "That's circumstantial evidence or some shit like that." But they didn't. They didn't penalize me for it. I think we were trying to present like the picture of um, Gina pointing the gun at Windebanks. Yeah. Because they keep saying oh. that he had the gun. Yeah, like they. We were trying to present that photo to the one where Windebank, uh, where they said that Windebank had the gun, and it's like, how did he get the gun back? But then they also say that they never saw Windebanks, but they know his voice. But then they also say they, they saw never... Windebanks with they, the gun. They also said they'd never known him. Yeah. So. And yet photographic evidence obtained immediately after the incident clearly shows that Mr. Windebank was not holding a firearm in any description. Uh, Circumstantial at best. And then he throws his wine glass at me. <laughs> ah, you what? God, people just, like, straight up will, like, make sh Like, dude, the prosecutor can literally alter evidence in court in front of everyone and nobody says shit. No, they do. It's just that he throws wine glasses at them and they don't remember saying it. Golden Bennett, that ain't right. Objection! Shut up. There can be no question that the victim's revolver was found and was used in the incident. I would remind the court that Mr. Windebank's gun was found at the scene. Good job, buddy. Not only was it identified as the murder weapon, but it was found in the accused's hand. Sorry, I was drinking a soda. <laughs> while she was unconscious and in front of him, even though he had been shot in the back, don't worry. Yeah, that mole toddler used the victim's own gun to finish him off. Give me that gun. Bam. Despite the fact that we've said both of them have guns, I think. It's kind of thing. Hold it! Stay exactly where you are. Right there. In case them in resin. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard what you said. <laughs> what? The eh or the encase them in resin? Encase them in resin. And that took you, a f like, a full actual minute, I think. I think my humor's a little different. I think the... The funny nature of it is, like, the, how much time they would have to sit there and not realize they're gonna die <laughs> for the rest and hardens and shit. <laughs> so what happens after this? Do we just, like, get out and dry off? Or, You'll or, have like... all the McDonald's you want. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, you won't have any more problems after we do it. Don't worry, you'll never have an issue with the law ever again. <laughs> if, the, if the crime had taken place... As you, as you so color, colorfully described in your testimony, it would, it would give. It would give rise to an undeniable and significant inconsistency in the final moments you just acted out. Thank you, sweetie. Goodness, are you sure, Counsel? No, I'm just found things. You intrigue me, my learned friend. But let's see some evidence to support your claim. In the bedroom. <laughs> Also, any evidence that you come out, any evidence you come out with, um, it doesn't count as evidence. Circumstantial. Anyway. There is a proof that demonstrates this inconsistency in the witness's portrayal of the victim's final moments. Okay. Wouldn't that be the picture of Gina pointing the gun at Windebanks? 
Or would that be Windebank's revolver? What are they asking for here? Because it's like, I could... Oh, which one's... This one's Windebank's revolver. I wish they could organize the evidence to be next to each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, um... I think... It would be Windebanks, or would it be the picture of Windebanks again? Because he was shot in the back. Where is the proof that demonstrates this inconsistency in the witness's portrayal of the victim's final moments? I think it's the the it's either it's either the picture of Windebanks, because or... she had him here. No, I think it's either the picture of Windebanks, or it's the um. Oh right, report. right, 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 right. She was so, she was shot in the fucking back. Yeah, so I think it's I think it's the autopsy report. Take that. According Damn. to, well, the music doesn't always stop. It only stops when you're uh, in testimony. Make it into a paper airplane and throw it at Van Zeke's. According to their testimony, the witness claims uh, to have heard a shout of, give me that gun, followed by a gunshot. Indeed, with the two events happening almost simultaneously, or so we've been led to believe, by these people who have lied to us on like six different occasions. And have whatever. openly admitted to being criminals. And, you know, also shot a guy. Yeah, let's not forget like, that they also shot a guy who is currently in surgery right now. <laughs> yeah, so they're yes. probably innocent. Yes, that's right. No, I don't think it's a matter of they're innocent. It's that they're witnesses because they're going back to jail after this. Right? They're not trustworthy. Yeah, they're not trustworthy. But, <laughs> yes, that's right. Now, if the testimony is true, it would mean that the moment at the moment of death, the victim and his uh, and his attacker would have been facing each other. However, in the autopsy re autopsy report, it clearly states... Haha, ha, Van Zeeks is a nerd and he wears ladies' underpants. See, it's written right here and it's like clearly in Japanese. <laughs> it's like with crayon <laughs> just scribbled into the corner. Uh, that the victim died instantly after being shot from behind. I see. You've uncovered the secret that these Skulkin brothers have have figured out how to curve bullets. Ah, I, I mean Gina Lestrade. Fuck! I see that you figured out that they're my brothers. Oh, wait. You have it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I think I might be on a, I might be on a different uh, subject than you right now. So, as I stated before, there is an undeniable inconsistency in your testimony, Mr. and Mr. Skulkin. Mr. and Mrs. Skulkin. Now, who's who? But, 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 it's the God's honest truth. Tooth. It is, Nash, it is. When we were shot that night, when he was shot that night, the shopkeeper had a gun in his hand. And we saw it with our own bleeding eyes. Something tells me you're lying about who he said that to. Something tells me they're lying about having never seen Mr. Windebanks. Well, it could... I mean, like, they're clearly admitting now that they saw him. They're clearly admitting to a lot of shit right now. But, like, they might be lying about who might have been the one saying, give me that gun. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they're the ones who shot Windebanks. They're not. But I do think that they are jackasses. They are jackasses. You are right. <laughs> like, I'm sure Windebanks was holding the gun at one point. I think they're probably being honest about that. And then whoever actually did kill Windebanks. Yeah, Gina's a good person. She's a pit... She may be a pit pocket, but she's not going to murder someone for something. Yeah, I think they, the killer just, like, folded themselves up into the walls or some shit. Just folded themselves into a piece of paper and shot Windebank. <laughs> Activated his stand enigma. Uh, did you... Did I hear you... Did I hear you right just now? Thank you. You actually saw Mr. Windebanks holding the gun? I keep saying Windebanks. It's Windebank. Yeah, it's all one word. Um... So much like that might have slipped out. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, you have all just heard the admission of these two witnesses. They murdered him! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> that on the night in question, they actually saw, with their own weirdly shaped eyes, the victim wielding a gun. Which can only mean that despite their testimony to the contrary, the Skulkin brothers must have entered the vic must have encountered the victim in person. Whether that be in the storage room or the main room. Yeah. Uh, Nash, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Order, order, order! Witnesses, explain yourselves at once. And then they just run away. <laughs> Throw sand in his eyes. Pocket sand! <laughs> well, the thing is, it weren't supposed to, um... 
It would seem that my previous warning fell on deaf ears. I made it quite clear that false witness would be the death of you. And then he pulls out a sword. <laughs> Draws his blade. <laughs> he executes them right here. In front of everyone. He's like, the judge is like, you do realize you're not an ex the executioner, right? You might understand that you replaced the untruths of your original testimony with renewed lies. Um, ever so sorry, Governor. Truth is, yeah. see... We, um... You know, the more you lie, the longer you're going to jail. At at some point, you're going to hit a life sentence. Yeah, not only that, um, you just make yourselves look guiltier. And considering how long this case is and how much you're going to lie, you're most likely going to hit that life sentence. You're going to jail. You're going to... They're already in jail. You're that's why... Jail that's why uh, Gregson's here. Cut out, Nash. Cut out. No. If you blab now... You'll, you know what what he'll do to us. Well, I'm so glad that we have a microphone underneath the table. <laughs> he, <laughs> who are, who they, are they talking about? about? I'm Narahodo. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you can if you want to. I want to. I'm just going to end up having to read his lines halfway through. No. Let me make your position here perfectly clear. You will talk. There is no other option available to you. You will tell the lies I told you to tell. God, he, Wait. Pull, he pulls out, like, one of those super fancy, like, pistol, old-timey pistols. <laughs> the one where the barrel's so long it's practically touching them. <laughs> Fuck, that one guy from... What game was it? I don't remember. Indivisible I, I or know, some shit? I know it... Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> where he has, like, a gun that goes off-screen. Uh... Bruv, come on. The game's up. But, but he'll have our guts for us. Not if you're in jail. <laughs> like, he could still get you in jail. Dude, this is 1800s. He can easily get them in jail. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Keep forgetting that, like, jail isn't super safe here in this time. Then again, what are you it's doing? Not, it's not safe in our current time either. Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> in case, case it hasn't quite sunk in yet. Okay, I guess you're not going to let me read. All right, all right. No matter how hard you try to hide it, the truth will come out. Uh, um... On the night in question, it is now apparent that you met you brothers met face to face with the victim. Just reveal that every single person was there. <laughs> it was a party. <laughs> yeah, like even people who shouldn't have been there were there, like Nikolina Pavlova. <laughs> <laughs> You're going on the naughty list if you don't tell the truth. Santa Claus was there. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this man. This is Santa. I mean... I demand that you testify again to explain the precise circumstances under which this meeting took place. I guess he needs a side hustle for all 11 other months. Yeah. <laughs> you were busy during that one. Uh, well... Do we have to? Yes. On the pain of death. What does that mean? I need lunch. <laughs> I suggest you make yourselves fully aware that this is your very last chance to tell the truth. Where am I? Lie to me again. <sighs> I fucking dare you. I will I will hop over my desk and get you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, encounter with the victim. Alright, so we just got inside the gaff and aimed a sigh of relief when the weasel showed his mug. Yeah, cool. When the gazer. You that gunny fellow, and they flew at us like he was possessed. I thought we had it. Okay, so you're saying Mr. Windebank was the one running at you. Wanting their gun? Why? Normally he'd try to take himself out. Yeah, he has his <laughs> own gun. Oh, confrontation! <laughs> Unless you're trying to say Gina still has his gun. So why would he be trying to get their gun? Well, now Gazer, the bloke was strong as an ox. Hey, chuck me over the counter. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can see that. You're a very small man. Sorry, I'm just imagining him, like, ragdolling into the other shit in the shop. <laughs> I pulled my gun on him, and then he legged it through the door to, into the back room. Okay, well, that's important. He never had nothing to do with killing him. That's all what happened, I swear. Okay. I feel like we can get some inconsistencies there. So now you're telling us that moments before the victim was killed in the storeroom, you in fact encountered him in the main part of the shop. You know, you're getting him, you're getting closer and closer to the point where he died, so you're <laughs> not looking good here. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Sorry. Well. Fug. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's get on it. 
We find ourselves at an interesting juncture. This changes matters considerably. Yeah, considering like you encountered him seconds before he died. But but on it, but honest, Governor, this time. This time, Nash, this time. We ain't got nothing more to hide. Very well. Counsel for the defense, you may proceed with your cross examination. Yes, my lord. Jesus. This is it. <laughs> this is it. The moment I've been waiting for. Lunchtime. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We've been here for hours. Wait, uh, we came in at like 8 a.m., 10 a.m., something like that? 8 or 10 a.m. Yeah. It's probably like 7 in the afternoon, which is night. All right. What, uh, what was it that looked suspicious? Um, uh, him wanting their gun. This one, right? Yeah, because what the fuck? It's hardly ever the first one. So, give me that gun. Press. Also, maybe him chucking the little guy over his shoulders. That's hilarious, though. I don't think that's suspicious. <laughs> Especially if, like, two guys break into your shop, you just throw the smaller one to make a threat. <laughs> Set an example. Set an example. I'll get you, and it'll look like a bloody accident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned that Mr. Windebank shouted those words in your previous testimony, too. However, you claim that you heard him yelling in the other, uh, on the other side of the storeroom, right? No. Last coffee line. <laughs> oh, um, did we? But the truth is, he was shouting those words at you, wasn't he? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Was the victim, Mr. Windbank, wielding a gun at the time? Say yes, so I could say, like, if he had a gun, why was he going for yours? Or if he had a gun, why, like, why did Gina have it? Because there's no way that little girl managed to wrestle a gun away from him. <laughs> why, you ever blimey lummy? The great, the great ugly barrel he had pointed straight at me front page. Okay, then why front is he face. trying to take your gun if he could have just shot you? And again, how did Gina get the gun? Well, that happened beforehand. Because there's clearly a picture of her having the gun beforehand. I guess so. So there's no, like, taking away from that. Gina had the gun at one point. So how did Gina get the gun? And Back! And then Windebanks got the gun, and then Gina got the gun again. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, did you read this? Yeah. Yeah. No one's reacting to anything that's being said. No, yes. So, so what you're saying is... There's a chance. You definitely saw Mr. Windebank with a gun at that time. Is that right? It is, Gav, it is. Spot on. And all of a sudden he came at us, he did. It was Bedlam. I didn't know what was going for who. Who was going for who? You were clearly all going for each other. Like Nash said, we thought we had it, I mean. Okay, nothing there. Okay, it still doesn't make a lot of sense. Gun on him and, uh, I pulled my gun on him and then he went through the back door. Okay. If he still had his gun, why is he running? Because, like, he still could have shot at you. Or shot himself. Or shot himself. He would have exited that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, the situation would have been diffused. It would have not been his problem anymore. Were you intending to shoot Mr. Wendebank? No, 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 never. I, I was just... You know, looking out for me bruv, weren't I? I was being flattened, don't forget. By a man whose shop was being burgled, yes. Actively burgled. You were there. <laughs> and then, the man fled into the storeroom when you pointed your gun at him, is that it? Yeah, that's it. He shoved me away and then he ran through that door and shut himself in. There's something about that last remark. Something that doesn't quite ring true. Like, why would he do that? Like how Gina still doesn't have the gun in her possession. <laughs> and where was Gina during all this? In the back room? I wonder why Mr. Windebank ran, uh, ran away into the storage room. What? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to whatever it was you said. Uh, according to what everyone's saying, Ginny was in there waiting for him with a gun. With his gun with... that he possessed at that time. Uh, yes, that's right. Gina allegedly used Mr. Windebank's gun to threaten him and force him to open the store storeroom door. 
In which case, how did the gun end up in Mr. Windebank's hands again? I have no idea. Uh, but that is strange, isn't it? This little inconsistency could be significant. You should make a mental note of it. Look, the point is, me and me brother, see? That's right, Nash, that's right. Me and me brother, yeah? Okay, so we have to go back to that previous one, right? They're hinting yeah, that. that that's the one. Yeah, there's something about that that we need to... Oh, d uh, present the picture of Gina threatening him with the gun. Right? That's the inconsistency because it shows Gina holding the gun, doesn't it? <laughs> you have like six hits, dude. I don't want to use any of them. This is a long case. <laughs> if I'm going to lose any of them, I want the next guy to be here. <laughs> All right. Please tell me it's the breakdancing Eggman. Is it the breakdancing Eggman? Eggman man? comes in. You know who I'm talking I about. I know who you're talking about, but I'm not going to tell you who it is. It's him. Okay, so it's this one, right? Yeah, it has to be, because it has it shows Gina with the gun. I don't know that we present it there if we present it to the one that said... None of these say that Windebanks has the gun on him, Do it, does it? Do it. Uh, didn't this one? No, it says that he was yelling for a gun. Shit! I think... <laughs> The second to last one is the one we have to present the photo fuck. to. Damn, fuck. No, let me Unless back. we're supposed to, like... I will try. I just saved, so... Okay. Unless we're supposed to, like, press everything. So this one, right? We'll try this one? Yeah, let's try that one. <laughs> Music didn't stop. We're fucked. Fuck. We just consider the implications of the statement for a moment, shall we? No! No! Okay, I guess I'll just rewrite the universe. <laughs> let me just rewrite the universe real quick. Let me activate my stand, King Crimson. Wait, what, what's this? Oh, that's the start. Okay, so this one. King Crimson is a very confusing stand. I thought you were going to make a miraculous reference. I mean, I guess that too. Anyway, um, hmm. JoJo's cooler. Let's see. I'm going to do a kill. Hold it. Let's talk that. about that. Let's, are you sure? Are, are you sure about that? You say you had nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Nothing, Gav. Nothing. The old geezer went and shut himself in the back room, didn't he? Locked it was from the outside. We know it was because we tried to open it. Okay, so you're pursuing him. Okay. Why? <laughs> you just admitted to pursuing him. Why did you try to pursue him? Especially since, like, you said that you had nothing to do with it, and, like, you didn't want to encounter him anyway. But it's a decent door, that one. Gun shot, one fashion inch. So in the end, the situation remains unchanged. No, it doesn't. What are you talking about? <laughs> Inside the storeroom with the pawnbroker. There was only one other person. The sole person who could possibly have shot the victim. The accused Miss Gina Lestrade. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. It would indeed appear so. What say you to that Oh, okay, I got... I don't know. I haven't What's slept there... in 47 hours. Is there anyone else apart from Gina who could have possibly shot... Yes! Yes! <laughs> there could have been! There are two people who easily could have done it. Mr. and Mr. Shulkin. Eh? What? We're getting hit by a train. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that look for? Okay, so it was definitely the last one. I guess so, man. From the... Man, what is going on? Do you hear that? Yeah, the train is about to hit somebody. Shit! Uh, from the moment you admitted that you've encountered the victim face to face that night, the course of this trial changed completely. It did. It did. <laughs> what is your point, my learned friend? I feel like if you're so smart, you would have caught the point by now. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're not as learned as me, punk ass. The question must. Uh, the question we must answer is who could have shot Mr. Windebank? Yeah. And it is the belief of the defense that. The defendant is not the only person, not the only possible answer at all. 
Because, like, um, didn't... Okay, fuck. We have on. a lot of issues going on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just, uh... At first you had my erection. Shut up. Hang on, that's the wrong thing. Oh, they're playing his music. Um, the bullet entered the body from the back at a gently raised di uh, diagonal... Rising. Gently rising diagonal trajectory. Which, if he was running... Well, I mean, also, um, said it was rising, so that could also mean that he was shot by somebody shorter. Yeah, that was what they thought at first, but if he's running, his torso is leaned forward. He's Naruto running. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, this, the thing is that, like, when you're running, you're, like, leaning your body weight forward so you can, like, run in that direction. I guess, but his body position wouldn't really recommend that. Well, he doesn't care. He's doing it anyway, Cody. All right. Like how bees shouldn't fly, Mr. Windebank shouldn't run. <laughs> Actually, you know that's wrong. I know. I uh, just thought it was funny. Did I tell you about that? Yes, you did. Oh, okay. You have my attention. In that case, but let's you just return to the police. You place. have my attention, but you don't have my evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they could have shot him. The victim was killed in the storeroom, which was locked from the inside. Dude, that must be terrifying if he was shot in the back wall running, because he's just going to land with dead weight in front of Gina. <laughs> right? I saw a man die today. <laughs> she did. Well, not only that, she also saw like the, uh, the, uh, the omnibus murder. Oh, yeah, that too. Well, she didn't see him die. She didn't see it, but she heard everything. Those are the facts. So pray, what about what other what, what, what other possibility answers that? What other possible answer to the question of who shot the man could there be? You know the two other guys in the room who, like, saw Mr. Windebank. Mr. Windebank was running from them, and then they tried to pursue him. No, shut up, you're a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw something at me. Taking it. Council, fucking, all right. You must now provide answers to the court in respect of two conundrums. Two, my lord? Twice as many chances to be right, maybe. Indeed. Namely, where do babies come name? from? What? <laughs> <laughs> and from what, lo from what location did the culprit shoot the victim? And furthermore, where was the victim at the time? Shit! Uh, understood, my lord. <laughs> Are you alright, Rudo? No, I'm not entirely sure, but there's one thing I am sure about. These edibles are pretty fucking good. Man, edibles in the 1800s. Mood really came a long way. <laughs> if I can provide that there's a credible new alternative to what happened, it would change Gina's prospects hugely. I feel like it's not going to be that hard to lean in that direction since they've already admitted to, like, encountering him and fighting him. So now... Time for some clarity. Show the court on this plan the answers to the questions posed by his lordship. Fuck, what were the questions again? If you believe someone else could have killed the victim, indicate from where that person could have fired the gun. The other side of the door? Like, from this direction. Right? Is because, like, if he's running into the storeroom, there is, like, this clear line that Windebank is not going to be able to move from. Yeah. So, from... Here. The defense believes that the culprit could have shot the victim from this location here. Why? <laughs> well, you got me, Lord Van Zee, so I got none. <laughs> okay, let's put your thing away. And an answer to the second question. Who done it? Who done did it? Assuming the culprit fired from the location indicated, where was the victim at the time? Uh, he could have been on the other side of the door. There is the slot. Like, he could have actively been in the room. No. <laughs> okay. All right, I guess they could have also been uh, on the other side of the counter. No, because, like, him. if he's, like, running this way, he still has to make it into this room. And yeah, but it they, still they can't... Huh? Because it's diagonal shot. No, it's, like diagonally like going up it's like straight in it's straight in his back but going up you're sure that's what the thing says all right 
You want to fight me? No. I'll fight. Lonnie. Come on, go. Shirts off. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm okay with shirts off, but I don't want to fight. Anyway, here? I don't have the energy for that. The defense believes that the victim may have been... Objection! <laughs> Nerd. Shit! What your answers, in fact, show is why Japan is inferior. Is that your own position is it a, is a, is, a, is, a, is a, okay. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Vampires really do say blah blah blah. <laughs> you watched you watched Tr Hotel Transylvania for the first time yesterday. How'd it feel? I did. How'd it feel? They fucking destroyed both Johnny and Drax's character. And Mavis, kinda. I... No one talks about Mavis in the later films. They only talk about Johnny and Drax. Yeah, but... she didn't do shit. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time... I don't know. I didn't really like her that much in the second movie. <laughs> you good? No, it's cold Somebody... and hot. I think I might be having heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they ruined Johnny and Drax. Anyway... You're gonna... What lord... Oh god, it's infectious. <laughs> Is that your answers are clearly flawed. Shit! No! <laughs> Die! I knew it. There's still like so many chances to be wrong. I know what I'm trying to say, though. I have a plan. A theory. A game theory. Okay, you do that. I'm a going... A film theory. Don't look it up. Don't be a nerd. No, because like this might be one of those pix pixel-perfect things. Okay, fine. I don't see why you couldn't show that someone other than Ginny could have done it in the storeroom, don't you? Excuse me, bitch, what? Yes, that's the right way of looking at it, I suppose. Someone other than Gina in the storeroom. What's the best move here? Should I try again, or gather more information? <clears throat> gather more information. I'll give it the old college try. Mama didn't raise no bitch quitter. The defense would like to point out the locations again. Well, well. You appear to be a glutton for punishment, you dirty pig. Whoa. Fuck. Okay, I was right. It was a pixel thing. So now, time for some clarity. Okay, so I think... Show I... the court on this plan the answers to the questions posed by his lordship. By his daddiness. Oh, wait, no. I think I had them both wrong. Give me a second. Okay, uh, where could the... If my... Thing is right. The guy could have been here. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he could have been... I was right. Here. I was right on the first thing that I said. You're a nerd. You nerd. I am a nerd, thanks. Anyway, but I, I, I might have been a little ahead of the... Uh... I don't think that's a pixel thing, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I think you were off by about 20 feet. No, I'm actually ahead of the class. I know what's happening, and I'm... Cursed by the knowledge. I'm too smart. Too smart. <laughs> Anyone who's played Ace Attorney and then replayed Ace Attorney knows exactly what I'm talking about. When you're ahead of the game and you're using that info <laughs> and it's ruining you. I'm simply I'm simply above and beyond what a normal human being is capable of. The culprit shot the victim <laughs> from outside the storage room. Simply my brain functions at a level an average human could never hope to comprehend. Continue. Mr. Windebank died instantly from a bullet wound in his back. Huh, bitch. <laughs> I could never. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag could not be me. <laughs> Looking for the stain of blood on the storage room floor. It doesn't appear that the body has uh, was moved after death. I guess so, yeah. Which tells us that he was almost certainly shot while he was in the storage room. However, the crucial point is, where was the shooter when... The fatal bullet was fired. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you expect me to know, you fucking bitch? <laughs> you bitch. So you are admin. Yeah. Hey, the fuck. <laughs> I am, thanks. Uh, well, according to the Skulkin Brothers' earlier testimony... A Skulkin's never Skulkin. And that's all he said. <laughs> I didn't hear anything else. I pulled my gun on him and then he legged it through that door into the back room. He fell into the back rooms, governor. <laughs> The life form got him. Now I'm just imagining the running animation of Mr. Windebank, but it's... Going down the hall of the <laughs> back room. <Yeah. laughs> and then the life form's chasing him. 
oh my god, we're fucking idiots. That'd be amazing. I mean, it would be. <laughs> I can't ask anyone to animate that. No one's gonna do it. If Mr. Windebank oh. ran away through that door... Oh shit, that was me. Sorry. We have to assume that the door was open at the time. Oh, fuck. Wait, hang on. You might be right. Shit. Uh, it was at precisely that moment when the victim was fleeing for his life. Everyone's hearing me, right? Fleeing for his life. That he still had at that point in time. That these brothers had a perfect opportunity to shoot the man in the back once he was inside the storage room. Ah. Uh... Shit. Bug. Uh, come to think of it, do you remember what the prosecutor said at the start of the trial? This is blah, my grocery blah, list. Blah. <laughs> Moving on to the findings of Scotland Yard's coroner. His report states that the bullet entered the body at a rising diagonal trajectory. Uh, I'm sorry, I just finished my lunch. Tony was a bit heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it seems the victim was likely shot by someone significantly shorter in height than himself. And then he goes and like puts a jack under the short skulk and then jacks him up. <laughs> See, he couldn't have done it. He's too short. Uh, poor man. Shot while he was running as fast as he could to safety. Yeah, but you know, I still do a minute mile. So. Yeah, oh. Iris, couldn't be me. Yeah, could not be me. <laughs> He would have been leaning forward as he was running away. Ah, see? Told you. Damn you, physics. So even if the bullet was fired horizontally, it would still have entered his body in an upward trajectory. So the culprit isn't necessarily so much shorter than Mr. Windebank. It might have just been Naruto running. That manga exists now. What, you don't lean forward when you run? No, I do. I just like the image of him Naruto running. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure my learned friend can't have forgotten that the storeroom door was found closed and locked from the inside. Yes, almost like the second person in that room didn't also want to be shot. Man, that's crazy. It'd be crazy if that happened anyway. <laughs> you claim the victim was shot as he fled into the room. Do you also claim his corpse was dexterous enough to turn the key in the lock? Yeah, as he died, he fell to the floor, did a little break dance that also closed <laughs> the door and locked it, and then he fell so he fell over dead. Absolutely crazy. He did an octuple head spin. He landed in the recovery position, which is why no one rushed him to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> they just saw him like, oh, he's good. He's okay. He's fine. He's in the recovery <laughs> position. Yeah, but, but, what if someone else locked the door? Like the other person that was in that room? That'd yes. There is someone else who could have locked the, the storage room door. I, and Van Zeeks, you have forgotten who that person is. Nuh uh. -uh. Fuck you mean nah? -uh. <laughs> the fuck you mean nah? -uh. <laughs> Very well then, Council. Present your hypothesis to the court. Do it, I dare you. Please stop. <laughs> In the scenario just described, the defense's assertion is that the victim was shot from outside the storeroom. In which case, who shut and locked the storeroom door from inside? It was Sasato. Bring her in here. Her stand abilities mean that walls are meaningless to her. Obviously, the person who locked the door was the only other person inside the storage room at the time. Obvi. The, dis the defendant, G Miss Gina Lestrade. Miss Gina Lestrade. Objection! Her name's weird. That's absurd! Oh, is that a new one? Shut up, and he throws the bottle at you. You're suggesting that the accused deliberately engineered the sealed room? You're telling me that the defendant was fearing for her life at the time? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a mortal thing. Anyway, and then he just like transforms into a bat and flies out the window. They're like, what the fuck? What do we do about that? And then he like disintegrates in the sunlight and it's like, well, I guess we don't have to do anything about that. <laughs> cool. Like Van Helsing is in the corner. He's like, I was a man. Came all the way here for no reason. <laughs> for what possible reason? Such actions would only serve to tighten the noose around her neck. I'm inclined to agree, I must say. Well, Counsel? Yeah, what? Hmm? Oh, what, are you going to tell me a child didn't want to be shot? <laughs> Girl. Yes, that's a tricky one, that isn't it. <laughs> you were on a fucking roll, Naruhoto. Half-baked notions have no place in my courtroom, Counsel. Remember that, please. 
but of course Ginny would have locked the door. It's it almost goes without saying, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> really? There's just one redneck guy in the corner. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Uh, if I were if I was Ginny in that situation, I know I would have to lock the door as quickly as I could. No wonder we beat you guys with pitchforks and muskets. I mean. And well, also all the tea that's just destroying the ocean currently. Yeah, and also their economy. <laughs> Fucking dorks. Those two burglars had just fired a gun in her direction, hadn't they? Oh yes, Obvi. <laughs> Obvi was created in the fucking 1800s. Hells yeah, dude. Before the two brothers arrived, Miss Lestrade and Mr. Windebank were in the storeroom together. Now, I don't know what went on between them at that time, but at some point... Sorry, I was drinking. Thanks for taking over. Mr. Ms. Windebank. Sorry, I'm, I'm back here. <laughs> I'm back so, now. Sh shut up, shut up, shut up. Be quiet. <laughs> Mr. Windebank must have heard the intruders breaking into his shop and left the storage room. Or the storeroom. Intruders, eh? That's us, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was someone else! It's like, no, you idiot, that was us. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't me. <laughs> If your theory is correct, that would have, that would have, that would have, oh, wow, holy shit. Damn, is, is English hard? Yes, it would. <laughs> well put. <laughs> then, probably only moments later, the victim fled back into the, fled back through the storage room door, hoping to escape danger. Bang. Wow, who fired in the courtroom? I mean, you're just allowed to bring weapons in here. Hit, hit in the back by a bullet, Mr. Windebank fell to the floor where he, uh, where he was, just inside the storage room. And what, and what we have asked our, what we have to ask ourselves now is, what would the defendant have done in that moment? Uh, I'll show you where you're going, Vivis. Outside the storage room was a terrifying killer who had just murdered Mr. Windebank. As soon as, as soon as that, sh as soon as that thought struck Miss Strauss. <laughs> <laughs> struck Miss Lestrade, she slammed the door shut and locked it. Just like a bullet struck Mr. Windebank. In order to save her own life. A fully reasonable and normal thing for somebody to do. Did I just hold it myself? Oh no, he didn't. Almost as if a vampire would not understand those feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I mean, we ain't the ones who done it. We ain't, Gov, we ain't. You gotta believe us. I mean, come on, we'd never shoot no one. Objection. Well, unfortunately, until you can place someone else at the crime, you're the only two idiots there. That's blatantly untrue. I know for a fact that you would. Because before my own eyes, you shot Mr. Airlock Scholz. Herlock. No, it's German. No, it's not. Yes, it is. He's white. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, Lonnie, I don't know how to tell you this. I know. They're white, too. It's really funny. They're the whitest. Outside I mean, of, like, the Irish. Really? Who's, Germans? Who's the whitest of the white? <laughs> <laughs> mirror mirror on the wall <laughs> who's the whitest of them all i need to know this answer for me <laughs> shows fucking conan o'brien <laughs> uh, there is only one logical conclusion here mr and mr skulkin you brothers had every opportunity to have been the true perpetrators of mr windebank's murder uh, uh... I was yawning. I know. I'm made of jiggle physics. <laughs> Only jiggle physics, nothing more. Where does this leave us? You mean to say it wasn't the pickpocket who shot the pawnbroker after all? This stuff is happening! <laughs> I should have known it was those brothers. They uh, look as shady as, oh, I don't know, a Russian terrorist planning to blow up the Crystal Tower. And then he, like, clearly looks around. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, fellow British people? Yeehaw, and whatnot. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, Rudo. All, all of the members of the jury seem to firmly be on your side now. I know. First time ever. Probably the last. Oh shit, can you, like, oh no, never mind. You're just allowed to have guns in this courtroom. This isn't a gun, it's a smoke gun. I, you know something, you, you want to know something? You know something? We had a guy bring an actual revolver in here. Gina shot the judge twice. With the smoke gun. I, d <sighs> well, I think you've done it. <laughs> Surely they'll have, they'll have to give a verdict or not. <laughs> An admirable effort, 
my learned friend. Thanks. What's this now? However, you have no counter to this. And he pulls out an Uno reverse card. <laughs> and then it's just uh, Runa doing the fucking Kai, but no! <laughs> <laughs> You've activated my trap card. He's laughing. Blue eyes, white A man is eyes. dead and he's laughing. <laughs> you find the situation amusing, Lord Van Zeeks. I myself find the defendant's argument most persuasive. Unfortunately, Judge, nah, uh I dare say. Such what? Chicanery is the bread and butter of the street performers in your provincial eastern nation. I've never fucking seen that word spelled out. Yeah, I've I've heard it. You are <laughs> so racist. But such blatantly malicious conjuring tricks amount to nothing more than inexcusable pit. What is with all these words? Jesus. Man, are you just trying to throw out as many long words as you can because you're hoping they didn't learn it on the boat ride here? Pettifoggery is he pettifoggery here. What? What? <laughs> the hypothesis you put forward so ostensibly credibly cannot and will not stand. As I said so. For it is just a baby hypothesis. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, it contains a fatal flaw. A fatal flaw? Multiple sclerosis. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that you're unaware of your logic's failing? Tuberculosis. <laughs> I say, Lord Van Jiggs, might be an idea to explain this bullet conjuring trick or whatever it is the troops on the ground, hmm? The fatal flaw in my learned friend's argument is really very simple to understand. Can he do this? I bet he can't. Assuming you're not too dim-witted to count bullets. No. No, you're a fucking idiot. You're very dumb. Or maybe he just didn't know Mr. Windebank. Because anyone who knows Mr. Windebank knows that he only has one bullet in his gun. The gun was empty, though. With signs of it having been discharged. Yeah. At someone else who, like, you know... We... Do they... I keep forgetting that this game has ballistic markings or not. Are we gonna have to fucking... But, George, count bullets. Are we gonna have to, like... Oh, dear. Prove the fact that the Skulkin shot Sholmes so they couldn't have possibly can shot... I, can I show the bullet that's in the calendar currently? Can we bring up the fact that... There's Mr. three bullets here, actually. Can we bring up the fact that Mr. Windebank said, um, give me that gun? He was out of bullets. Can we apply logic? <laughs> he was out of bullets. <laughs> Anyway, uh, oh dear. He noticed then. Huh? That's what we're talking about! <laughs> What's going on? Council! Yes? You're stupid. Yes, sir! Wait, didn't we already identify the blood on the calendar with Sholmes's? Um, it couldn't have been because. Was it? Pretty sure. But the calendar's too high for that. And also, the calendar Upward was. trajectory. The calendar was already messed up when we got there. Was it? Are you, you were sure? paying attention, were you? T no. <laughs> oh, damn. Anyway. Tell the court. Okay. Sorry, I just want to... Do we not have the messed up calendar? No. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, uh. <laughs> How many bullets were found at the scene of the crime? Three. Uh, two. Three. Two bullets. Three! Everyone's they don't stupid! Know, they don't know that one was left in Sholmes. What do you mean they don't know one was left in Sholmes? He's in surgery for it! <laughs> he had... no. He was having the wound closed. Maybe they didn't notice the bullet that's in the calendar. Because I don't think a gun in this time period could create a through-and-through -through wound unless it was really close. Are you sure? We were pretty fucking close. Correct. The first, that which hit the victim in the back, ending his life. And the second. Yeah, see? They're missing the one in the wall. That which struck the detective, Mr. Airlock Sholmes, on the scene. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, hang on. Dude, I'm tired. Uh, let me, let me, like, no, um, this is it. See? Okay. It's like there's a third bullet. No one fucking saw this? No. <laughs> no, wait, didn't that one guy say that he didn't want to report it? Because if he did, there'd be more work for him? You motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! Although at the angle it is, the calendar must have been fucked up before it was shot. What do you mean? Because like, can you pull it up again? 
Because the calendar and the calendar stand. Nope, are that's my that's wrong my thing. yeah, that's my badge. Hang on. The calendar and the calendar stand are facing two different directions. Oh. So the calendar must have been fucked up before it was shot. Must it was like a struggle? Because remember, Mr. Windebank was trying to take someone's gun. But they're lined up. So I guess the alternative solution is that this game just doesn't care. Anyway, back to this. We have the other two identified, I think. Indeed. Yeah, that's the only that's the only one that hasn't been identified yet. The defense presented oh god. The defense presented a picture showing the damage caused by the second bullet earlier in the proceeding. Then that means they can't be shown with blood. <laughs> Shush. Don't be a nerd. No, I'm saying because like the bullet is still in Shomes. Yeah, and there were two bullets. Shomes was shot twice. You didn't hear it because it was so fast. See, what happened was the first bullet got stuck halfway, and then the second bullet hit the first bullet perfectly, oh, and then that, shot it forward. It's just that scene from fucking JoJo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bullet which injured Mr. Shomes appears to have passed through his body to strike the calendar. Then why is he in surgery? <laughs> to have the hole closed, maybe? No, they're searching for the bullet. No. <laughs> A bullet wound is not one of those things you just slap a band-aid on and you're like, you're good, get out of here. I know, but they said specifically they were looking for it. <laughs> Shut up. Stop being a nerd. Just no, fucking... Even the doctor who slammed his head on the counter said that he was looking for it. That man is senile. He doesn't know where he is right now. Your lordship's understanding is correct. Furthermore, my god, I'm lightheaded. We know there are two firearms involved in the incident. The revolver belonging to the victim, Mr. Windebank. And the Skulkin Brothers' revolver. Well, how do you know this is, uh, like, the, um, uh, it's like the first game. The bullet was taken. Or the gun was taken, I guess. Shh. In this case. Shut up. The evidence shows that a single bullet was fired from each gun. Also, by the way, can we go back to when the Skulkin Brothers said, we don't know what he'll do to us? Clearly referencing a third party. Can we go back to when the fact that there's two Skulkin brothers and each could have had his own gun? Also saying that they're missing the, the third Skulkin brother? Yes, indeed it does. A single bullet from each. Now then, my learned friend. The fuck you gonna do about it? Uh... <laughs> you yourself told the courts only moments ago. I would like to order a MacGuffin, please. <laughs> That these two brothers shot Mr. Herlock Sholmes right before your eyes. Yeah, they did. I was there. Yes, I did. <laughs> Correct. Oh my goodness. I... I think you'll find... That if the shingle bullet was fired from the brother's gun hit Mr. Sholmes, it means... Mr. Windebank, not shot by same gun. Stop. Only one bullet. Stop. Why does weird tiny woman talk weird? <laughs> <laughs> And is that the bomb little woman has? Can I take it? Can I have some notes? Please. Exactly. We'll deal with this and then the terrorists later. Yes, these Nipponese street performer. Yeah, this Nipponese street performer presented an ostensible credible argument. However. I think Van Zeeks would look great in a kimono. <laughs> like, because it's like, don't both genders wear kimonos? Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. I don't know if it's a different name when a guy's wearing one. I don't know either. I think almost anybody looks good in a kimono as long as you wear it, right? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'd look great in a kimono if I lost about 30 pounds. Nah, 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 nah. It was never anything more than a, a diversionary... Diversionary trick with no hope of standing up to scrutiny. Except Shones was gonna show up because he has another bullet. And has been fighting off the nurses for the past 20 minutes to get here. God, the idea that Shones has like a gurney over his head. He's just screaming. screaming as he swings it around wildly. <laughs> um, order, order, order. We just watched like Spy X Family. He's like swinging the gurney at the doctors like in the first episode where the guy swung the chair at the <laughs> other guys. Uh, <laughs> Picks up a nurse, whips her like a wet towel, throws her at the other nurses. It's a very bad day at the hospital saints and sinners. <laughs> anyway. You know, it's really good that uh, Sharon d called in sick today. She didn't want to be here. <laughs> no! Stop. Pray forgive the discourtesy of flinging the dregs of this hallowed nectar into the public gallery. 
Man, I really hope I didn't hit alcoholic Steve. Oh no. It's just a very advanced bottle flip challenge. <laughs> <laughs> There's one dude back there who's like catching and drinking all these bottles who's just he's, fucking hammered. He's fucking hammered right now. Lord Van Zeeks! Stop, 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 stop doing that. Stop what? it. What? Stop. What are you gonna do about it? Stop it. Get some cool. help. <laughs> he pulls out like a spray bottle and squirts him in the face. <laughs> But this court needs to open its eyes. The accused, Miss Gina Lestrade, is no ordinary little girl. She's actually bum 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 a stupid. Stand -user. <laughs> Despite her young years, she can, regrettably, no longer be described as a juvenile. Because no. just, because just like me, this girl is a vampire. <laughs> The person in the dock is far from a law-abiding citizen. She has a past riddled with criminal conduct. Yeah, oh, shit. The truth is, the accused broke into a pawn brokery on the night in question with loathsome intent. As we can see beyond a doubt in this print, which depicts her threatening the victim with the murder weapon. Okay, but we clearly know that, like, Mr. Windebank got it back. I have here in my possession. One more piece of evidence the prosecution wishes to present. That disc? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Won't be taking that whatever it is, Miguel. It's down to the yard. Thank you very much. No, don't. Don't give it to him. It's mine, that is mine. Can we skip this? We've seen this. Yeah, go ahead. Please. I can't respond. Anything belonging to Miguel it has to be taken in as evidence now. What, what, governor? <laughs> what, what, in the arse? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, music box disc. Mr. McGilda's music box disc. Then dicks. Dicks. <laughs> Just like helicoptering his dick while it plays. <laughs> How much is that birdie Every in the window? <laughs> playing music and then everyone's horrified. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the very day before the hateful murder of Mr. Windebank. Yeah? The accused attempted to make off with this article, which clearly doesn't belong to her. And with another subtlety of a pickpocket, I might add, but by brute force and blazing impudence. Go to gracious. What? Huh? Make no mistake. Any sympathy for the accused on account of her years is misguided and dangerous. There are no depths to which this girl would not stoop if pushed. No crime she would not commit. The court forgets that fact in it, at its peril. Okay. What? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. I was thinking about the bombs. I mean... Cats. Uh, bom I mean, bombs. I mean, bombs. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bombs. Fuck. <laughs> I mean the worms. There. Saved it. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything bad. <laughs> I, mm. I think it would be prudent if you, I think it would be prudent to take this music box disc into evidence, counsel. Oh finally we have it! Hold it. As a grip Fuck Sorry, I'm yawning. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Greg said just hold on. Yeah, blow van six. I am. Um, I lost it. It's <laughs> Inspector Gregson, what? I thought I thought it was a cookie. I, <laughs> you're gonna get it back in eight hours. Yes, Inspector. We had a meeting yesterday at the yard with the prosecution office, and um, I, I think it was agreed that the disc wouldn't be used as evidence. I don't care. I'm a la I'm the special boy. I can change the rules when I want. What's this all about? Why is the inspector acting strangely? It was me mother's, you say. That's the... <laughs> That's the first time he said anything to Van Zeeks at all. I am unaware of any such meeting. I wasn't there. But, but those were the instructions right from the top. Government bigwigs were insistent. I don't care. Inspector. I am the prosecutor, and I alone determine how to present my case. Your warning is noted and ignored. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution wishes to proceed with submitting this disc's evidence, my lord. And savior. Stop. Indeed. Bailiff. Yay. The music box disc has been entered into the court record. 
Oh my god, I'm getting lightheaded from jumping around with all these voices. The prosecution has established the accused's motive, opportunity, and baseness of character. Well, you're a bitch! That is nothing more to add. What? <laughs> just slaps me. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I await your informed decision and rest my case. Thank you and good night. I rest these nuts on your face. I, oh! I don't believe it. I had the jury on my side for once. For all of five minutes. Oh dear. If it, it wasn't even for five minutes, Reno. Thanks for making me feel worse. My lord. Wonder oh, no! I, wonder if I might say something at this point. Proceed, Mr. Foreman. Been stumbling about in a bit of a fog up to now, if truth be told. But all of a sudden... The answer's bully obvious to me and my men. But there's only one thing for it. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Very well. The court will hear from the jury. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... You will present your leanings as to the defendant's culpability. I swear to God, if juror number four slams his head onto the desk again. <laughs> Guilty. 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 Can we get one Guilty. 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 He sounds like a villain. This actual fucking terrorist sounds like a villain. Shit. Yeah, I'm really glad YouTube doesn't hear for that word. Yo, Gina, uh, you're fucking going to jail. <laughs> so, well, sorry, Gina. Sorry. We have a consensus among the jury, it seems. Did a little oopsie poopsie. I did an oopsie doopsies. <laughs> when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. That, that's my line! <laughs> I wrote that for Hurley! <laughs> Copyright doesn't exist yet, nerd! How dare you use it against us! Eat fresh. <laughs> don't worry, Iris. I don't think we're finished yet. Yo, get him, Taco Bell. <laughs> Yo, keto, Taco Bell. <laughs> Pulls out a tiny dog. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this. Uh, there's there's more to this case than we realized. It's fucking really? There must be, because there's one thing I'm absolutely certain of. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail, and I'll meet Kazuma on the other side. Gina didn't shoot Mr. Windebanks. What, what? <laughs> Very well. We will proceed with the second summation examination of the day. Oh, wow. Thank you for just assuming I'm going to do that. I'm just, you know, we're just at this point in our relationship. Business relationship, by the way. Get it up, squadron is primed and ready for action, sir. Okay, uh... Very good. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will each explain on what grounds you have to... You have now determined the defendant to be guilty. Should I, like, go all the way, or should we, like, end it here? We need to end it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, like, what do you think? I think this is ridiculous. I think we have a man who incites terror via concussive detonation means on the jury. I think that we've we're trying to argue with people who have lied fifty seven times. I think it's dumb. You're gonna be okay, sweetie. I'm not. Yes, you will. I'll make you be okay. Anyway, um Ladies so and gentlemen of the jury, that has been the great ace attorney. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.